Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today I want to talk about the Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at the packaging for the new Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir. Uh, it comes in a pretty much a, a standard white Mont Blanc sleeve. Uh, the outer box here is a little different. It's got the red and the black, the special edition over here on the left, uh, Heritage Collection. Otherwise, got all your information on the side. Otherwise, kind of your standard box, but let's uh, pull this out. And you've got your booklets on the Rouge et Noir and Got some interesting stuff in here. And then this is pretty much a, a standard Mont Blanc gift box. And let's open it up here. And here I happen to have the coral. Now they make this in three different collections. They make a coral, they make a black, and then they also make a limited edition ebonite version. So I'm going to bring a couple of these out here. And they come in fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint. So this is a quick look obviously and we've got a ballpoint here. Now there are differences between the black and the coral. On the coral you have the Mont Blanc imprint that's on the cap is highlighted in ivory. And this is the old style Mont Blanc logo and of course the most obvious thing about this pen that we're going to see is the serpent on the clip and the serpent's tail wraps all the way around it comes up there uh, on the coral version we have green eyes for the serpent which matches nicely with the color and then on the top, we have kind of the old style Mont Blanc um, snow cap uh, ivory with the coral. Now, this coral, for those of you who are not aware, is very, very close color to old style red hard rubber. Uh, red hard rubber was more orange than anything else, and that's kind of what the color is here. Uh, it's really a perfect color. They've done a very good job of matching this up to a vintage look. Uh, this being a ballpoint, of course, it is twist activated. Um, it's a decent size, it's heavy. These are a brass barrel with uh, resin over the top. I unscrew this and there's my standard Mont Blanc refill. A little spring in the end. Super nice, actually a very nice ballpoint. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the collection here. Um, I have in front of me the coral rollerball. I've got the black fountain, the black rollerball, and the black ballpoint. Um, coral rollerball looks very similar to using the same parts essentially as the fountain pen. Same idea, except we've got a different barrel length, obviously. Now, the one thing about the Heritage Rouge et Noir, these pens are, are fairly, fairly slim. Um, they're about classique size. They are, are not Legrand size. They're not large um, in girth. Um, metal section, the threads at the end of the section here for the rollerball. And to remove the refill, you actually unscrew the blind cap there, and then you can unscrew the refill from the back. So that's how you access the refill on the rollerball. Uh, the pen does post. Uh, I don't believe it's really designed to post. It's quite lengthy as is but you can post it if you desire. 
Let's take a look at the black. Um, now on the black, like I say, there's a couple differences here. You're going to notice that there is an imprint, that same old style imprint on the cap, but it is not highlighted in that ivory color. It's just left natural. And if we look at the serpent, you'll notice that there is no jewels in the eyes. So you get green jewels in the coral and on the black, you just get kind of the natural look. Now on the black, the black does get quite, quite a glorious top here, the coral with the ivory at the top. It's a beautiful contrast. Probably why they chose not to, not to mix anything else in there because it's just really a stunning look. This is the fountain pen version, metal section. We've got, again, threads at the end of the section. And let's take a look at the nib here. The nib has the serpent on the nib as well. So um, 14 karat gold nib on these with the rhodium plating. And the fountain pens are piston fillers. So a traditional Montblanc piston filler. Um, kind of lengthen the hands. Uh, the nibs have a little bit of softness to them. If you can see that. Decent, it's a decent weighted pen. Um, rollerball again, pretty much just like the coral. Looks just like the fountain pen. And the black ballpoint. Um, I, really, I really think the ballpoint's are really a great a great size pen. They really, really did a nice job on that. Now, in addition to the standard series, and I should mention the coral pens are kind of a one-shot deal. So they made one production run and that was it. So what they made was what they made. Um, these are special editions for, of course, the 100th anniversary. But um, coral is much more limited. They also made a limited edition, limited to 1906 pieces. I'm sorry, 110th anniversary, not um, 100th anniversary. And it comes in a little bit different box. And let's see. So it looks similar to the other um, Rouge et Noir box, black and red, except we've got limited edition on here. And let's open it up. We're going to get a limited edition brochure in multiple languages. And this great, great looking box. And Rouge et Noir is a game of chance. So that's why we have the kind of the gaming logo on there. Now let's open this up. And this is kind of one of their traditional, more higher end gift boxes. And this limited edition pen, like I say, it's limited to 1906 pieces, is made entirely of ebonite. Well, it's made of ebonite, hard rubber, just like a lot of their old pens and a lot of any pen for that matter in 1906. So it's, it's got that, that warmth to it. If you rub your, your finger on the material and uh, you smell it, you'll smell essentially like burning, uh, burning tires. So this is a little different. This is kind of a, similar to the coral in that the imprint is highlighted on the cap. We still have this great two-tone look here, tri-tone look with the uh, black and the coral and the ivory. But then in the serpent on the clip, we've got the red eyes. 
really sharp look. And if we open this up, we have an ebonite section. We have the end is metal there with the threads at the end, which is nice because there's a little bit of a, I won't call it a step here, but there's a little bit of a ridge there, which is very smooth. Um, if you hold it there, it's very comfortable. Unless you're holding it way down here, you're not gonna touch those threads. Um, very nice, very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the nib. And on this one, as well as on the coral, we get a two-tone nib. So you can see the serpent is in gold and the rest of it is rhodium plated. Look at the feed. Again, a slim, a slimmer pen. And this is also a piston filler. So, very limited as far as Mont Blanc limited editions are concerned. 1,906 uh, numbered pieces. And those are numbered right here on the side of the cap. Otherwise, what you see is what you get here. It's very, very plain. There's no, um, they call it heritage for a reason. It's, it's uh, going back to their heritage with this collection. So the Mont Blanc Rouge and Noir, and you notice the the limited edition has got kind of a duller, a little bit more dull finish than the black resin over, over brass. So there you have it, the Montblanc Rouge et Noir. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide.